Morning, guys. Morning. We've had a lovely night's sleep, haven't we? We have, and we're back at the railway station again. Yeah, guess where we are? We're back here again, aren't we? Yeah. And today we are going in the opposite direction, and we're going to visit Herculaneum, which is an archaeological site which was destroyed by Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. AD. And it's smaller than Pompeii, but it's the um, best, well, the most intact uh, preserved. Attenzione, treno direttissimo per Napoli in arrivo sul binario 2, allontanarsi dalla linea gialla. Attention, fast train to Naples arriving on platform 2. Move away from the yellow line. That's us, guys. Yeah, our train's here. We're going to hop on that and we'll bring around Herculaneum with us. So we're on the train and it's packed and so many people have just got at our stop to visit Pompeii. So we're hoping Herculaneum isn't going to be as busy as Pompeii. Um, but it is the best ancient, well, the most preserved ancient city um, in the whole of um, Italy. So and the reports have said that everyone thinks that um, this is better than Pompeii so we will we will let you know later guys we will, we will see. so we've arrived at Herculaneum this is the main entrance let's go find out how much it costs <laughs> no no you just come through <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 So this is an aerial view, as you can see. And the whole town, which was this size, was swallowed up when the volcano erupted. So it's a slightly smaller scale than Pompeii. Um, but yeah, it looks, um, it's very well preserved by looking at things. Herculaneum was discovered in the 18th century by a farmer who was digging to make another well in his land. And then he discovered some remains. And then the archaeologists, they decided to excavate the area and Herculaneum was discovered. So the arches that are down here used to be storage for boats that opened out onto the beach. Whoop, slight distraction, six inch long lizard. So now we are going into the actual ruins as we're crossing this bridge. We are into the ruins. Once we crossed over the bridge into this walkway, it became apparent. This town was covered in volcanic ash, but it had been preserved more or less intact. So come with us into Herculaneum, let's explore. This was an open area where the residents could come and get food. It's like an open terrace. I guess in our days it's more like a street market. Whereas here now you can see it's very well preserved. Look at those colours still on the wall. Amazing. So we are now in the thermal baths and this was the waiting room. That's where they appear to put their clothes on the little shelves. And where I'm sitting, and Mr. D is sitting over there, is where they would sit to wait to go in the baths. So this is the male baths. There you go, Mr. D, you're in here. This is where you would have been. <laughs> Unless it's the male changing rooms, maybe. But the shelves in here as well. Look. Oh, yeah. hmm. 
Anyway, but this is the men, so I'm going to go and find the ladies. This is the custodian's house, which they're currently excavation going on here at the moment, as you can see here. And this was the seat of Augustus took place. So there's lots of work going on here, cleaning the ruins up. You can see the original walls there, paint on there, it's quite nice. Very well preserved. And the mosaic floor you can just see there. This is Thermopolian, again, where food was served, um, hot beverages and food, which was quite common in this area, served from here. They seem to have a lot of snack, snack bars, Mr. D, you might have liked it here. Yeah, yeah. This area, this house was built in 2nd BC, and it turns out it was part of a shopping complex. So all the way up this street were shops. So that explains why the food shop is the next one down. So this was a shop selling wine and there you can see four jugs of wine and they each represent um, how much it costs for a jug of wine. And their money was called asses and you can see this is two asses, this is three asses, this one was three asses, this one was four asses. So depending on the quality of wine is how many asses you paid. And this sign, you cannot see but it's actually said Noah, is to announce there is a show going on. This shop was the blacksmith shop. This is the house of the Black Saloon. It was owned by a very rich resident. Herculaneum was smaller than Pompeii and was a wealthier town. It was a seaside resort for the Roman elite. As you can see by the extraordinary density of the luxury houses featuring the coloured marble clad in. So much has been preserved and it's still going on today. So this is a typical street which houses people's houses on the left side and on the right side modest single-storey dwellings and if you were rich you could have a two-storey dwelling this was a mill where they got the flour for the baker's goods the ovens are in there you cannot really i don't know if you can see through the barbed wire but it's closed off and this is where they ground the flour this is prepares tavern in other words his pub and he used to have roasted walnuts there and a little counter there where he served refreshments this area leads to tunnels after her claim was discovered Treasure seekers excavated tunnels and took artifacts. Oh. It's very nice and cool in here. I would say this is part of the tunnels, but also a place of worship.
and that is Herculaneum done. It's okay, it's, it's a lot of buildings to walk around but um, you don't see any real evidence of the um, lava from Mount Vesuvius. It's been cleaned up so much, cleaned up too much in fact. And you have no access to the lower levels where you see the bodies covered in lava. So we'll go to Pompeii tomorrow and compare the two. So we finished Herkelum, which is just through there. And we were heading back to the train station and we got sidetracked, didn't we, Mr. D? We did. Well, I thought it is Father's Day after all, so Mr. D deserves a treat. So, cheers, guys. Yeah, we've got a pair of spritz. Cheers. A pair of spritz and a happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Yeah, yeah, it was eight, eight hours now. So warm in here. It is. The sun gone, but the train is coming.